Welcome to Save As Ability, a podcast to educate and inform you about disability employment issues. My name is David Darkangelo, and I'm your disability policy expert. Hey, everybody. Welcome back. It's David Darkangelo, another episode of Save As Ability. Keep those great comments coming. Please like, subscribe, share so we can keep putting out great content for you. Today, we're going to talk a little bit about transportation particularly transportation barriers that many people with disabilities encounter. Well, traditionally, when people think of transportation barriers for people with disability, I think they generally think of like uh, the HP parking. I got the little thing over there you can see, or, you know, the handicap placard parking, which that's the only time we use the H word, by the way, when we're describing that parking, uh, disability parking, however you want to say it. But that's generally what people think of as people with a mobility disability. But it also impacts other prevalence types as well. People with cognitive disabilities that may not be able to drive or people who are legally blind or blind who uh, can't drive and get a license. So uh, and it's in multiple modes as well. So, you know, we had the quirky quad on Ali Ingersoll a few episodes back about air travel. And, uh, you know, if you can check out some of her videos online and what people with significant mobility uh, challenges have to go through it, people with power chairs and, you know, getting on a plane or, you know, uh, how do they get on a train and things like that. So, right. There's so many different things to consider for people with disabilities. And particularly if we're talking about all aspects of life. So how do you get to work and how do you work with it in your workplace? Right. And asking your employer to be able to make accommodations for whatever transportation barrier you may or may not have as a person with a disability. So uh, these are very real issues for people with disabilities, whether it's, you know, how do we pay for an Uber? Because oftentimes a person with a disability can be accommodated by an Uber, but it's going to come out of their pocket. So maybe we could do what we've done here in Massachusetts is model uh, a, a program where the Uber can actually be part of like the ride program. It can be paid for as a public transit service, right? That's maybe an option for other areas. So there's a lot of barriers out there for people with disabilities in transportation. And think about that. How do you get your groceries? How do you do, uh, you know, all the other things that keep people independent and self-determined here in America? You know, one of the tenets of being an American is being able to travel freely from place to place. And people with disabilities, unfortunately, encounter many barriers to transportation. So again, if you go through the various prevalence types there, some can't get a license or some have difficulty accessing transportation in their area. Now, that's why in many of the urban areas, people with disabilities tend to gravitate towards because the programs are there, the accessible transportation is there. The further and further you get away from that, some of those transportation options become more limited or more challenging to to come across. So Again, whether it's air travel, whether it's on the train, whether it's by car, whatever the case may be, these transportation barriers really impact people with disabilities uh, in terms of getting employment, in terms of being independent and self-determined. So just something to think about. If you have any stories about transportation barriers that you've encountered, let us know. Maybe we can have you as your guest and talk about it as well. So Just wanted to bring that to your attention. We continue to make strides here, but we've still got a long way to go to ensure equal access and equal opportunity for people with disabilities. And those barriers are real. So, you know, there's some solutions that we've come up with, but there's still a long ways to go. So wanted to bring that to your attention for your consideration. And again, please let me know if you've had any experiences in transportation barriers so we can talk about it here and get the message out to help other people. All right, so David Darkangelo, save his ability. As usual, I'm fired up. Let's go. Please like, comment, share. Give us ideas on what you want to talk about for these next episodes. Hope you have a great day. For more information about disability employment issues, please visit our website, disabilityemploymentsolutions.com. The Save As Ability podcast is available on Apple Podcast, Spotify, our YouTube channel at Disability Policy Expert, or wherever you stream your podcasts. Subscribe, stream, 
rate and review our shows. Your ratings and reviews help our show reach new audiences. Produced by Pod Pro Entertainment. Save As Ability lives within a network of podcasts located at podproentertainment.com. Hashtag the new radio. Again, my name is David Darkangelo, and I'm your disability policy expert. Until next time, thank you. I hope you have a great day. <laughs>